Welcome back to the channel. Watch the video until the end. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel to support us. What happened to Voyager 1? According to NASA, the probe is sending a strange signal from interstellar space. Could it be the first signal of a third kind encounter? Or is it just a technical malfunction? Never before has a probe been in interstellar space. Voyager 1 is the first human-made object to send data from there, and the situation is confusing. What if the interstellar medium is completely different from what scientists previously thought? We might need to rewrite textbooks and prepare for new discoveries that challenge our imagination. Imagine a brave probe traveling in space for more than 40 years, now venturing well beyond the boundaries of our solar system. Suddenly, the probe begins to send a mysterious and inexplicable sequence of signals to Earth. Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object from Earth, has transmitted a strange sequence of ones and zeros to Earth nearly half a century after its launch. What happened? The binary code followed a pattern that made no sense to scientists. Instantly, NASA's scientists and engineers were faced with a puzzle. Had Voyager encountered something strange, or was the probe simply malfunctioning? The second issue was how to diagnose and solve a problem when the device is 24 billion kilometers away in interstellar space. Voyager 1's situation posed many challenges for NASA. When the control team learned about the unusual signals from the probe, they began frantically searching for solutions. They started analyzing the structure of the mysterious messages, hoping to find a clue to the underlying disturbance. The NASA team then turned to artificial intelligence to help sift through the data patterns using a specialized algorithm. Artificial intelligence became a crucial tool in deciphering the signals. After days of intensive data analysis, a recurring pattern was recognized, which was the first hint of a communication hardware malfunction on the probe. The team hypothesized that a defect in the telemetry modulation unit, the device responsible for converting and sending data from the probe to Earth, could be the cause of the distorted signals. The next challenge was to find a solution to fix this defect remotely. To understand the technical details, engineers dug out ancient designs. Some data had long been lost or destroyed. Hence, even former NASA engineers long retired were called back to solve Voyager's problem. The team decided to take a bold approach. They tried to instruct the probe to switch to a previously unused communication system, which had been programmed as a backup for such emergencies. The operation was risky because this measure could mean the end of communications with Voyager. The century-long mission might have ended sooner than hoped. Holding their breath, the team sent the command to switch communication systems and began the long wait. Due to the immense distances, a signal now takes more than 17 hours to reach the probe and another 17 hours to come back. We can all imagine the tension in NASA's control room and the joy when Voyager 1 responded. It was a moment of relief and collective joy that will forever remain in NASA's history. The spacecraft successfully received and executed the command, and data began to flow in a comprehensible format again. The mission could continue farther into space than ever before. It's magical. Solving the problem will provide us with more years of data from unexplored space. Voyager offers us the unique opportunity to receive measurement data from the infinite space between stars and planetary systems for the first time. The Voyager mission is truly one of the boldest space exploration missions we humans have ever launched. The main scientific goals of the Voyager mission in the near future include the continued study of interstellar space. Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, are the only human-made objects that have ventured into this uncharted realm. The farther the probes move away from Earth, the mission becomes more exciting but also more challenging. It's already a miracle to maintain contact with such distant technological devices. The second critical point is the power supply. The plutonium-based radioisotope generators on board the probes produce less energy over time. The mission teams have already turned off most instruments to reserve the remaining energy for the most important scientific missions. Currently, 
NASA hopes that both Voyager probes continue to transmit data until the end of the decade and perhaps beyond. But even when the radio link is lost, the mission will not end. The Voyager twins will become ambassadors of our civilization and culture. Each probe is equipped with a long-lasting golden record on board that contains sounds, images, and messages from Earth. In many thousands of years, the probes might be caught by the gravitational pull of a star and thus appear on the radar screens of another civilization. Voyager, fast, economical, reliable, it's hard to believe, but these two veterans of space exploration were put together in a few months with a mini-budget to exploit a special window in the constellation of outer planets. Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune had not been aligned so favorably for 170 years, and in the 1970s it was known it would take another 170 years for the four outer planets to align again. For this reason, researchers activated and hastily built the two Voyager probes. Both were to follow slightly different routes, and if one were lost, the other would still be present. In the end, both reached their destination. 1977 marked the beginning of an epic journey. To increase their speed, both probes performed several maneuvers around the planets. Voyager 2, launched on August 20, 1977, reached Jupiter on July 9, 1979. Voyager 1, launched on September 5th of the same year, reached Jupiter in March 1979, providing the first breathtaking images and valuable data about the giant planet and its moons. One of the most notable discoveries was volcanic activity on the moon Io. At the time, it was the first observation of volcanism outside Earth. After the successful flyby of Jupiter, Voyager 1 continued its journey and reached Saturn in November 1980, revealing the complex structure and beauty of Saturn's rings and providing fascinating insights into the planet's atmosphere and moons, including the first detailed observation of Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Voyager 2 examined aspects around Jupiter that Voyager 1 had overlooked. Together, the two spacecraft provided a comprehensive picture of the gas giant, with many images that scientists still appreciate today. Voyager 2 visited Saturn and continued its unique journey towards Uranus and Neptune. During its flyby of Uranus in January 1986, Voyager 2 discovered ten new moons and two new rings around the ice giant. The journey culminated in August 1989 when Voyager 2 became the first probe to fly by Neptune, sending us the first image of the planet. Voyager 2 discovered Neptune's great dark spot, many clues about the solar system's most violent storms and previously unknown moons. After providing valuable information about the outer planets, the Voyager probes continued their journey beyond the known boundaries of the solar system. Their mission was extended to an interstellar mission, and NASA was amazed by the tenacity and reliability these two simple probes had shown up to that point. Initially, no one hoped the two probes would reach the boundaries of the solar system, but they did, and researchers are very grateful for these exciting moments. The first time in the heliosphere was a cause for celebration. Voyager 1 reached the heliosphere in August 2012, a vast bubble in interstellar space created by the solar wind. The flow of charged particles emitted by the sun envelops our solar system and protects it from cosmic radiation. The boundary of the heliosphere, where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium and slows down, is called the heliopause. Beyond this boundary begins the influence of interstellar space. Compared to the incredible vastness of the universe, the heliosphere is just a small spot. However, it extends well beyond the outermost planets of our solar system. Voyager 1 was the first probe to cross the heliopause and entered interstellar space in 2012, about 121 astronomical units from the Sun, equivalent to about 18 billion km. Although this is a huge distance from our perspective, it's small compared to the size of our galaxy. The Milky Way has a diameter of about 100,000 light-years, which corresponds to about 6,324,107,700 astronomical units, and our Milky Way is just a medium-sized galaxy in a universe that hosts billions of galaxies. 
So the threshold of the heliosphere is really just a stone's throw in cosmic terms, but for our science it was a huge discovery that revealed some surprises. The expected results were a decrease in solar wind and an increase in cosmic rays coming from outside our solar system. Unexpectedly, however, was the discovery that the magnetic field outside the heliosphere was stronger and oriented differently than predicted. Voyager 1 encountered a magnetic field more than 10 times stronger than the magnetic field inside the heliosphere. This discovery poses entirely new questions about the structure of interstellar space and the interaction between the solar wind and the interstellar medium. Another unexpected result was the discovery of a magnetic highway at the edge of the heliosphere, where charged particles flow back and forth between the heliosphere and interstellar space, indicating a more complex structure of the heliosphere than previously thought. A surprising flow of particles, after crossing the threshold of interstellar space, added further mystery. Some scientists have gone as far as to suggest that perhaps we've encountered the first traces of a new force of nature, or perhaps we've discovered an alien signature. It's important to emphasize that, despite intriguing speculations and the popular imagination about third-kind encounters and alien signals, the most probable explanation for the unusual signals and surprising data coming from Voyager 1 lies in the natural technical and scientific challenges of deep space exploration. The Voyager 1 probe, along with Voyager 2, continues to provide valuable data that pushes the boundaries of our knowledge and raises new questions about interstellar space, the solar system, and our place in the universe. These missions represent the culmination of decades of curiosity, engineering, and scientific research. As we approach the end of their operational life, Due to the depletion of energy from their radioisotope thermoelectric generators, the contribution of the Voyager probes to science and our understanding of space will remain a lasting legacy. The discoveries made and the images captured have not only expanded our knowledge but have also fueled our imagination, reminding us of how vast and wonderful the universe around us is. The Voyager mission, with its golden records containing sounds and images intended for possible extraterrestrial civilizations, also symbolizes a message of hope and peace from humanity to the cosmic infinity. Regardless of what the future holds for these bold interstellar explorers, their journey and the discoveries made along the way will stand as a testament to our unstoppable desire to explore the unknown.